You're listening to KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle. We're streaming live around the world at KEXP.org. I'm Cheryl Waters down here in the KEXP studios with Olden Yoke. They play tonight at the Sunset Tavern here in Seattle. So great to have you here in studio. You've got a brand new record. So excited to hear new music from it. Thank you. Thanks. Welcome. Olden Yoke live on KEXP. Monday nothing, Tuesday nothing, Wednesday and Thursday nothing. on KEXP, Cut to the Quick from the new album. That sounded fantastic. Tonight they're going to be playing at the Sunset Tavern here in Seattle.
sometimes takes time. live here in the KEXP studios, sounding wonderful. Tonight they play here at the Sunset Tavern in Seattle, and it is so great to have you here. Again, welcome. Thank you so much. Shane, you are a frequent visitor to the KEXP airwaves with your band Quilt, and I understand that when you and Katie met, there was just an instant connection, and before that, this had been sort of a solo endeavor. I'm not even sure if you intended for it to become a band that would put out a record and tour, but tell me what was so special about the star spark that was created when you two met. Well, sometimes it just it's just a feeling thing. We met through a mutual friend at a show actually in Texas, Harvest Moon. It was on the Harvest Moon, which was pretty cool. But we started talking and it just was kind of an instantaneous I'm going to be friends with this person for a long time. And I think it was on both sides we felt that. Mm -hmm. And then we just kept writing to each other for a few months. We started sharing poetry with each other. And we actually wrote like a whole book of poetry before we ever started making music together. And yeah, it kind of just went from there. Initially, you weren't living in the same place, but I know that both of you have lived outside of New York, but that's where both of you grew up. And even though this is a very bucolic and pastoral album, 
it's actually an ode to living in the city. Can you talk a little bit about that connection and what's so special about that for both of you? Yeah, well, for me, I was living in Texas for four years. So it was kind of um, me returning to a place I had grown up and seeing things with a fresh perspective and appreciating all the grittiness that I had come to, um, I don't know, dislike before, I suppose. And um, part of that is uh, people screaming in the streets and graffiti everywhere and all the mechanical sounds that are in New York. Um, they were all inspiration for the album. Yeah. There's no lack of inspiration to be yeah. found in New York as no. evidenced by decades and decades of great bands making music. I'm sure many of those bands inspire you as well. For sure. Yeah. Um, I know, Shane, that you are also a visual artist, and in fact, you've got some visuals that go along here today. Um, are you able to incorporate that into this project? Yeah, we've been doing a lot of different stuff. So for each one of the tour posters, kind of like doing a drawing for each one of the shows, which has been really fun. And then, yeah, incorporating a lot of video. And I did all of the videos ourselves, or we did them to ourselves, and I did all the editing for the music videos. So it's definitely been fun to be all involved in that way. Yeah. And, tell, and tell me about the album cover, because I know you're a visual artist, and I thought maybe you would ha have done the artwork for it, but it's actually a really cool sculpture by mm -hmm. someone else. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's a little difficult to explain, but I'll try. Okay. <laughs> um, so I grew up working in bookstores, and my sort of, uh, my mentor was someone who owned a bookstore that I worked at, and he actually took this photograph and uh, gave it to me before he died. And the photograph of, is of his best friend's sort of first work as a sculptural artist. And um, the, the artist behind the sculptures, his name is Larry Robin, and he's a longtime activist and bookstore owner in Philadelphia, where I'm from. So um, knowing these two people and having worked with them and kind of growing up with them, uh, it means a lot to me. And you know, this, this photo has been hanging in my room for forever. And when Shane saw it, he had a connection to it as well. So yeah. it was a no-brainer, really. I love yeah. the way that the figure is standing in it. So you, you can't quite get the emotion, especially the grayscale photograph of it. It was actually two photographs that we took and blend them together to make one. But oh. mm -hmm. it's a really powerful image. When I first saw it, I was just like, what is that? <laughs> so, like, so is the sculpture just one piece and you've made it look like two? Yeah. Yes. So it was, it was two photographs. One was like a portrait style and one was straight on. And then kind of in Photoshop blended them together. <laughs> it's, it's Larry's image of his first love. Oh, well, it sounds very meaningful. And there seems to be a lot of magic in the air around this um, project and this record, you talk about that Harvest Moon. I mean, it doesn't get more powerful than that in some ways. Um, gives it a real special feel. And you two, do you work on all of the songs collaboratively? Mm -hmm. Pretty much, yeah. Um, sometimes we'll uh, have a song pretty much almost complete and then bring it to the table and it'll always change. Um, but uh, it, it depends on the song, really. Did you always envision that the music would be fleshed out by a larger band? You're here as a five-piece today. Um, it kind of, it, in the same way Casey is different for every song. It's been amazing playing with these players. This is Dan Drohan on drums over here, Peter Wagner on bass, and Jesse DeFrancesco. Dan and Jesse both play on the record, and Peter has joined recently to play bass. And he'll probably be on some stuff in the future. But I, I like band music. It's fun, and it's always, you know, having a full group, you get something that you wouldn't get otherwise and having it live in the studio and these guys all add flourishes and everything, so. Well, it sounds fantastic and the interplay between all of you and especially between you and Shane, uh, Katie and Shane. Sounds amazing, I love those voices together. Thank you so much for coming in. They've got a couple more songs, Old and Yoke playing at the Sunset Tavern tonight here in Seattle.
case one to no one since you've been around. Sounded lovely. Thank you. We're live in the KEXP studios with Olden Yoke, a brand new album. It was so wonderful to hear new songs today from that. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Tonight they play at the Sunset here in Seattle. Tomorrow they'll be at the Bunk Bar in Portland. You've got a tune to KEXP Seattle. Very nice. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.